Princess Heart of February. She's a 60 foot traditional stern narrowboat built in 2003 by Reeves and fitted out by Sandhills. She's a lovely boat. There's some real character in the fit out and the layout. You'll see as we go through. It's got some real quirks about her that I love. She's just been blacked April 2021. She had six new anodes put on her at the time. And she had a hull survey done. That is available in the, in the office for viewing. The paintwork does need some attention. That needs to be said, but that has been factored into the price. She just had a deep clean. There's a side hatch there. There's two side hatches on board, both with removable perspex panels to keep the elements out. Cratch covers in reasonable condition. The gas bottles in the forward locker there. There's two of those, 13 kilos. And the world deck itself is 4 feet 11 inches long. Storage lockers either side of the whale deck. Nice glazed cratch board. The bow thruster guts are under that front bench. It's a Noble's nine horsepower bow thruster. Lovely glazed front doors and glazed bulkheads as well. So it adds a fair bit of light into the boat. And in the boat we go into the saloon. She's fitted out beautifully in ash tongue and groove with a mixture of ash and sapili trim. The woodwork's nice, there's a lot of uh, sapili worked in here and there, the floor is sapili. Tongue and groove on the cabin sides there. The saloon here is 15 feet 4 inches long, diesel diesel bubble stove. So it's set down through the saloon, storage options on the port side, storage under the steps here. And a good sized sofa. The floor is sapili. There's carpet tiles over it in the saloon here. A couple of oil lamps on the wall. Well, the lighting on board is a mixture of LED and halogen. Head height on the boat is six foot four. And a lovely L-shaped dinette area here. That converts into a double bed to storage under. Another look down the boat from here. Feels very spacious, this boat. Feels longer than 60 feet, in my opinion. And here's a lovely side hatch. There's a roof hatch over, and it's super easy access up those steps there. Lovely little feature. And the galley itself is a good size, 8 feet long. The worktops are Corian. Lovely woodwork. You can see the can't remember what you call it, but the, the patterns around the, the cupboard doors and the drawers. There's an awful lot of storage on this boat. There's the fridge and the freezer. It's a Curry's 230 volt. That works off the inverter or the landline, of course. The inverter's a 2 kVA master volt. And the cooker itself is a Country Legend MIDI Prima. Four burner gas hob oven and grill. There's an overhead extractor unit above that with a light in it as well. Nicely laid out galley. Got a bit of personality. All the boats got some personality as well. There's a spare table for the dinette area. You'll see a radiator on board um, on the boat there. The central heating is an Eberspacher diesel fired central heating system to four radiators. The bathroom's in here. There's a corner bath. There's a shower over it, you need to put a shower, a curtain rail up and a curtain, big mirror on that forward bulkhead. The loo itself is a Thetford cassette, one spare cassette on board. The basin is ceramic over a vanity unit and there's a cupboard up here. Nice room this, very unusual doors as well. The bedroom's next, fixed double berth, that extends to 4 feet 10 or 5 feet, probably, with that insert. Storage underneath. Side hatch in here, which is unusual, it's quite a nice little feature. The stereo's up there, and the cupboard above that. Some reading lights over the head of the bed there. And a good size cupboard at the foot of the bed. There's a couple of wardrobes, well, one behind that, and that's a wardrobe. Here's the storage under the bed. 
Storage everywhere, actually. Lovely room. And then we go into the office area. There's a desk there you can see. Lovely balustrade there with an old ship's wheel worked in. It's lovely in here. Two good sized cupboards here. Airing cupboard on the left, storage cupboard on the right. And under here is the washing machine. That's the Zanussi. Lovely woodwork. So yeah, this could be a desk area, utility room. Do what you like with it, really. I suppose you could convert it into some sort of bunk room if you needed more berths, but... The engine's under here, it's a buck. 24 horsepower. That was last serviced actually five years ago, but the boat's not really, not really been used since. It's one of the problems with the paintwork outside. She There's lots of reasons and good reasons for it, but uh, she's been unused for a while. The inverter, that's the Master Vault 2 kva And there's the view from the helmsman's position. Another look back through the, the water tank is approximately 750 litres. It's stainless steel. Hot water is supplied by the engine, the Eberspacker. There is an immersion heater on board when you're hooked up to the landline. There's a bank of four domestic batteries, 410 amp hours and one 115 amp hour starter battery. Battery for the bow thruster as well. And there are landline hookup points at the bow and the stern, which you don't always get, it's quite useful. There's a TV aerial point in the saloon, I didn't mention that. And she's got all the necessary navigation equipment to just go. There's also a CB radio and a VHF radio on board, but you need licenses for those, of course. So there we go, lovely boat. It's called Heart of February. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.